Namaste and welcome everyone. Welcome to Colab, a beginner's guide. Here we will be seeing why we are selecting Python and why Colab as the environment for the Python. So let's come to the point why we are selecting Python for this course. Here are top five reasons. Python is extremely friendly language. It is much like English alike syntax, which makes it very, very approachable. There are no complex symbols or the nitty gritties in Python. There is no memorization. So what happens is when you are writing a code, you are focusing more on solving the problem than wrestling, fighting with the, the semicolon, the curly bracket, opening, closing, so on and so forth. Another thing is Python is very extremely versatile. You can do literally everything in Python, right from scripting to automation, data science project, web development, machine learning and much more and more things you can do the basic structure remaining the python so we have a large library basis for this python being open source we have flask django numpy pandas tensorflow selenium and you know the list goes on and on and on another reason is the python is the most in demand language so you see here is high demand high rewards so python will empower you for the future it is the fastest growing language programming language with a booming job market for this. It offers very, very competitive salary and it will enable you to work from home, which is the trend of the day. Python comes with, comes up with an open source and very supportive community. So it is that you are never alone. Whenever you are stuck anywhere, which is very less likely a case because Python is so simple that, but still you have a vast online forums like Stack Overflow, Red Dead, so on and so forth you have many mentorship programs available tutorials available and a very very friendly helpful atmosphere surrounding surrounds a python being the open source language and finally python is fun it is very rewarding so it is not that you enjoy learning uh, you know at the end of the python you will enjoy while the journey itself is very joyful then you can on the on the way you begin by creating the courses by creating the projects so later, sometime later, I will be having a course on Python specifically where we will learn entire Python on a project based way. But here, right from day one, right from the first letter that you are going to type, it can become a project in itself. Okay. And Python is uh, useful for solving real world problems. You can automate many boring stuff with Python. You can have your own website using Python. You can have, you can do a lot of uh, machine learning activities using Python. So you can continuously learn, grow and have a fun when you are with Python. You may wonder Python being used by which all companies. Here is the list, very, very impressive list. You have Google, Netflix, Facebook, Amazon, Insta, right? Goldman Sachs, PayPal. And you can see, uh, you know, the, the list here goes on and on. Uber, Dropbox, Airbnb, NASA, IBM, Intel. So all these companies, they are extensively using Python as a programming language. Okay, one way or another. Now, when we talk of Python, we will need an environment to run the Python programs or to compile the Python programs. Many times, uh, Python activity starts with jump onto python.org, download Anaconda distribution, and then, you know, people get just uh, carried with uh, Jupyter, Spider, or should be they be doing with PyCharm. And what I have seen is, at least to some of them, by the time they download Anaconda, they just move themselves to Netflix. And then Python learning just goes. So that's why we will be using Google Colab. So Google Colab, it's a free cloud-based platform for Python programming. And it is also a free AI exploration platform. So what is Colab? Google Colab is Google Collaboratory. And we'll see why we are using Google Colab. These are the top five reasons why we are using. First thing is, it is the free GPU power that you will get with Google Colab. So you will surcharge your projects by, your, your system may be slow, but when you log on to Colab, what happens is that Colab, Google assigns you 12 GB of RAM and 108 GB of, you know, the space for running your programs in Google Drive. It has a, if a normal power is not enough, you can also go for GPU, TPU kind of a power and uh, it's a free available for you. Second thing is uh, hardly any 
real time project is done by one person it's always a collaboration even students when you are doing project you will be doing a project as a team your edi project your course project your software development project they are team projects so often what happens is that you know a, a part of the problem is being solved by you a part of a problem is being solved by your other colleagues other teammates so here in collab you can do a real time collaboration so you can share so the this collaboration collab itself is a notebook which can, you can share instantly edit run code individually your part of the code you can run the entire code so on and so forth so collab just becomes a perfect option for the projects study groups and you know the mentoring activities collab comes with huge amount of built in tools and resources so what happens is that uh, you don't have to install the many majorly used ai or machine learning used libraries in collab they are pre installed so the powerful libraries like pytorch or you know the pandas numpy scipy so on and so forth they are already inbuilt and there are huge amount of material available the resources the tons of tutorials and resources are available to learn uh, python on collab so what happens is you end up learning faster coding faster and completing your projects quite fast and last but not the least the most important is collab is free literally everyone has a google account uh, so when you have a google account collab just comes as a gift from google to all of you so basic tasks to the moderate task project they are uh, free if you are working on an extensive project then maybe you may have to take some paid plan but which is hardly the case at i have not seen anybody doing that in last many years of my experience so all the student use or the basic use collab collab is free and finally it's on the cloud so what happens is that you can work anywhere everywhere you can work any time you may have your system or not you may work on your mobile because students are lot there on mobile so you can start working on the mobile you can start working on the tablet phone itself laptop so there is no installation required you don't have to install something there is no storage limit as long as you fit into 108 gb uh, the, and, you, and you can access it from any device so these are the specific advantages of collab and that's why we are selecting not only python we are selecting collab so now this tutorial is all about getting started with collab so to get started with collab what you have to do first you have to sign in your google account i mean just some simply as simply as open gmail on the browser chrome browser so which is generally we are already always signed in google and then open the chrome browser search for collab and enter collab we will see this step by step in the couple of next slides okay so when you type this google collab you know you will come across this window and here in this window what you will see is you will see the first window here open notebook and uh, the base window welcome to the collaboratory that is briefed as collab so this is the first look that you will be having when you particularly see uh, you know this when you log in to google collab so let's see what are the so here you will see the examples so if you want to learn collab many features of the collab you can go through this i'm preparing a tutorial series on the collab itself but till then you can always go through uh, these uh, examples here next you will see you know your own file so recent uh, they will list your own files that you have used previously so this is the this is the list all these work get stored in your google drive so next comes logically is the google drive and not only the google drive you can share it on github as well so i have not shared it on github as of now that's why it shows no result but you can share your project on github you can ask your team to come forward there and work using that environment and the last one is it is not only the programs that you write here will be executed the programs uh, otherwise the python files ipnb files that you have written somewhere else you can always have those files stored here somewhere and you can browse and upload so this is what this upload function stands for now we come to the uh, let's cancel click the cancel here and then this window will go away here you have to click this cancel here and this window will go and then you will come to this welcome to collaboratory 
now we are going to this looks much like a microsoft word kind of a page which is we all are very familiar with file edit view insert runtime tools help so we'll go to the file file you will see here new notebook open notebook upload notebook right so these are the options so we come to the new notebook so here is a small video i have recorded for new notebook let's go through this one so now here we will be writing our first colab program i have just signed in my google account that generally everybody is go to the chrome browser type there colab or google colab just open it whatever is the first search just open the same you are automatically diverted towards the google colab this is all we have seen the first window is here now we are going to go to the file open a new notebook and when we are opening the new notebook what will happen is first we will uh, rename the notebook i will rename the notebook as the first program here you go you rename it rename it as say the first program first erg and now this all things we have seen this, there are two types of cells <coughs> code cell text cell so we are using the code cell here i say a is equal to 2 some simple operations we want to do today b is equal to 3 and want to say c is equal to a plus b and uh, we want to print c so the command is print bracket just say c there now this code a simple code in itself we uh, want to now run this code so for running the code you can either control enter or you can just use this icon here you can go to edit run time there also you can run it okay there are various ways and here we got the option 5 i look here uh, when you see the ram Uh, here the, the ram available is 12 gb ram is available to you the system ram and system ram is this is the google provided ram the google cloud and when you come to the disk it is going to give you 108 108 gb of uh, disk space available so all this are not required as such if you want to add a new code new cell here code cell you add it you go for the next program a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 c is equal to a multiplied by uh, so a multiplied by b and now we want to print c so what will be the answer uh, type in the comments there what is the answer here what is the c c will be c is 15 so this is how yeah you are done the first code here the first program using google colab so when you see uh, the system so the system is 12 gb of ram is available and also the disk space is so now he uh, disk space is available so this was the brief overview on python why python we are selecting for this course for numerical computing and why we are going to run all the python programs on colab so this was the a brief introduction to colab a lot of things are on the way so request you to stay connected subscribe to this channel like this my video and share this with your students group so that a lot of good things not only in technology we are going to see a lot of more things like book reviews history we will be discussing applied history applied spirituality lot of lot of more things are on the way and uh, i would like to say that stay connected thank you